Multicast is a fascinating topic. When I worked at Paramount Pictures, the way they delivered their content to individuals who wanted to see it, would they would beam up their information to a satellite. The cable companies would download that information from the satellite and then distribute it and the customers would tune in with their TVs to watch the channel that had the content. The same thing happens with multicast. In fact, today we use a lot of multicast to deliver the same type of traffic we used to do on satellite. And here's how we do it. R3 is a multicast server and it's pumping out content to a multicast group. For example, maybe that multicast group is 224, uh, excuse 132.6.17 as an example. Great. So it's pumping out this content. When that content is hitting these network segments, how do we differentiate and allow just the clients who want to listen to that traffic to pay attention to it and have everybody else ignore it? What happens is this client is going to be running some type of multicast aware software. In that software, the user would say, I want to tune in to this group. And what the software is going to do behind the scenes is that software is going to say, oh, you want this group? That group is going to correlate to a specific layer 2 MAC address destination. And what your software will do, it will actually pay attention and tune in, if you will, to that specific layer 2 destination address. So we have a layer 3 group address for multicast, and each group address is going to have a corresponding layer 2 MAC address. My discussion today is to focus on how would I determine, how would we determine what the layer 2 MAC address is from a specific multicast layer 3 group address. Let's go ahead and take a look at that right now. So here's the play by play. Here's our multicast group right up here. And that's the group address that the server is pumping up the content to. The process of how that traffic is delivered down to the clients who need it is a fascinating topic also that we're not going to talk about today in this short video. This is the binary representation of the decimal group address. So that's not new to you as well. You're aware of how to convert decimal into binary. But notice I did something a little different. I converted 224 into binary, the eight bits here, but I also separated them with the little space here. And I did that just for readability. Also, it's going to assist us when we convert it or if we need to convert it into hexadecimal. So there's the IP address, there's the binary for it. Now, the goal is what MAC address, if this server pumped out content to this multicast group, what would be the layer 2 destination associated with this content that users could tune into through their software? Well, it's so easy. The first half of the MAC address, MAC addresses are 48 bits. And the first half of the MAC address is already done for us. So if it's multicast, it's going to be 01005E, at least for IP version 4. So that's already done. Now, what we need is another 24 bits. Now, also, when we take a look at these bits here, um, this is in hexadecimal, and each character right here represents four bits. So that zero is four zeros. That one represents zero, 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 one. Um, there's, you know, eight zeros right there. That represents a zero, one, zero, one for a four and a one bit on, and the E represents well, if it was F, it would be 1111, and this is one left, so that'd be 11104E. In any event, each nibble or each character in hex represents four bits. So, our goal is to convert the multicast layer 3 into a layer 2 address. Well, the first half is done for us, it's right here. Now, the second half is going to come from the actual IP address of the multicast group. Now, do you use all of it? Well, if we use the entire 32 bits, that would be too much. How many bits do we need? Well, we need 24 bits right there. Well, Steve Deering, bless his heart, back in the day when they were developing and inventing, if you will, multicast, he wanted to use the last 24 bits of the IP address and drop them right in and use them as the MAC addresses. Of course, we'd have to convert it from decimal to, to hex, but that's not a big deal. He didn't get all 24 bits. They gave him 23 bits. So here's what we're going to do. This right here, this represents that IP address. It's the same. So that IP address is actually right there and there. 
this is the IP address of the multicast group. We don't get to steal, or use, I should say, all 24 bits, but these bits in red right here, we get to use these last 23 bits. So, if we just bring those 23 bits down and we convert them to hex, they would look something like this, one nibble at a time. This 001 right here converts to one. Just pretend that these are the only four bits on the whole planet, convert them, and you're good. This is also a 001 which equates to one. This nibble right here, 0110, that's a four bit and a two bit, that's six, so that's a six. And this nibble right here, all zeros, represents that character right there. So I will just arrow these up so you can actually see the correlation there. And once you do this a few times, it's actually quite easy. Here we have this nibble, 0100, that's one, two, four, eight. The four bit is on, so that's a four right there. And up here, now check this out because we only get to use 23 bits no matter what that bit is right there we are going to ignore it that's the 24th bit we don't get to use that one so if it's on or off it doesn't matter we take these three bits and we take the bits that are on and in case the zero 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 there's no bits on the one bits off the two bits off the four bits off it's a zero this would be our back end if you will of the MAC address so the first half is right here it's done for us and the second half would be right here also very simple to calculate the last 23 bits bring them down convert them to hex and you're gold the final multicast group uh, for layer 2 the, the destination address of layer 2 for the above multicast group would be 01005E 04, 06 and 11 and that comes from right here now just as a little icing on the cake I lab this up and I put a protocol analyzer on it so let's take a moment look at the protocol analyzer output just to verify that this layer 3 address corresponds to the actual layer 2 address that we calculated right here Okay, so here we go. This is a protocol analysis of a multicast trip packet being sent. And let's take a look at the layer three information. It's summarized right here. The source doesn't matter too much because we're focused on the destination layer three address corresponding to a destination layer two address. And take a look at the destination IPv4 multicast. It's 101005E. That part we knew about because that's always a given. And the last 24 bits are 040611, which represents and matches what we calculated as well. So converting from uh, the IP layer 3 address from multicast to layer 2 address is really simple. It always begins the layer 2 address with 01005E, and then you simply take the last 23 bits of the IP address, convert it to hex, and that's the back half of the MAC address. Simple as that. Thanks for watching, everybody.